Welcome back. Hovercraft H194 is in Goa to check the accessibility at Goan beaches for tourism purposes. DIG of Coast Guard M. Budkar said popular tourist beaches will not be disturbed by Coast Guard operations. Hovercraft will be useful in the state for coastal security. This hovercraft is in Goa. It both for coastal surveillance as well as for search and rescue. It would be a great asset. And here I am at the headquarter of Bombay. And Bombay they will analyze whether it is cost effective because they have to see host of other things, such as maintenance, as kind of the other things like fueling it up, repairs when in emergency. So actually analyze can you make it? Our Coast Guard headquarters in Mumbai will send its recommendation to Delhi. Only for Goa, how much it is useful? These aircrafts have been found very very useful. Earlier we had six on the east coast. After that, the Coast Guard recommended and the government approved this twelve aircrafts. FIFA team, led by competition director Inaki Alvarez, inspected Nehru Stadium on Saturday to check its suitability for Under-17 Football World Cup to be held in India in 2017. Goa is one of the probable eight city venues for the FIFA World Cup. The FIFA team will confirm six centres after carrying out inspection at all eight shortlisted centres. On Saturday evening. The FIFA inspection team went around the Fatoroda-based Nehru Stadium, which has been recently upgraded for the Lusophonia Games. With the government already giving support to the Under-17 World Cup with various guarantees and tax exemption, it is now down to the FIFA inspection team to satisfy themselves with the facilities in the state. Right, so they're uh, not necessarily in this order, okay? But of course, uh, infrastructure. The stadium, the training sites, hotels, so infrastructure includes IT, telecommunications, and so on. So that's one. Then there's uh, organization, the people. Mm -hmm. Then there's the support, national support, local government support, uh, public-private support. Those are probably the big three, the big three uh, variables that we consider uh, for choosing a venue. Are you satisfied uh, with the? Uh, it's a, it's just a. a yeah, so far what we've seen is very good, very encouraging, very you'll positive. Be, you'll be coming back. Uh, to I you. hope so. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dudu Omagbemi continued his fine run with his second consecutive goal and comeback, leading Sargaonkar to their second successive victory in the I League. This time, the Nigerians strike floored Mohammedan Sporting in Kolkata. For Dudu Omagbemi, he scored the winner against Mohun Bagan. And now, here's Luciano caught flat-footed. The offside trap was not on. He lost the ball, but Merajuddin Wadu stuttered a bit. The victory took Derek Pereira's side to fourth place in the standings. With bureau inputs, reporter Pratik Parab from Fatoroda. And with this, we come to an end of this news bulletin. Keep watching Prudent. Tumi Prudent. You're watching. Prudent.